It's pretty incredible to see how far we've come with regard to 3D animation. These are some examples of things that you might see around. And while we can't get there yet offhand, we can use AI technology like deep motion to create some pretty cool animations. And this is what this tutorial video is all about. So if you would like to see how you can turn this into this, Stick around because we are going to go through step-by-step -step process on how to get there. You're going to need three tools to complete this process. They are Canva, DaVinci Resolve, and Deep Motion. In Canva, you'll see that Canva costs you just about $15 a month if you pay for a premium account. It's very, very helpful. We don't need a free account for this, but the first thing you're going to do is go and open up your free Canva account. Then you're going to come in to the search bar and look for video under apps here. And we're going to look for something quite interesting. I want to really test the 3D animation. So I'm going to look for something that involves a lot of the joint movement. And I'm going to select this one over here. It's important to pick only one person in the frame for the purpose of deep motion. In the Canva video, you want to make sure that it's linked to the background before you save it. I'm going to shorten it just a bit because deep motion only gives us about 60 seconds worth of, uh, of access to the free account. Then I'm going to save it. So I'll save the clip, move it to download it as an MP4. That's the first thing we're going to need. Right? The next thing we're going to need is a background for our 3D animation. So I want to pick something like a 3D rotating stage. I'm going to look for something over here. Now, these are pro elements. You can find something that is free, that is unwatermarked. For the sake of this tutorial, I found something that I quite liked. And there we go. So I'm going to save this as well, also as MP4. Next up, you'll go to deepmotion.com and open up a free account. This is a freemium model, so you have a free account. You can also, should you choose to, go and pick another account that is a pay for subscription. For the purpose of this tutorial, we just need the free account. So you're going to go and access your free account. And after you have confirmed your email address, we're going to come over here to 3D models. We're going to come and choose this stylized avatar. We can also upload, but we're going to choose the stylized avatar and see what options we have available. So you can choose if you'd like a masculine or feminine avatar. You can even put a photo attached to this. We're gonna continue without a photo though and see what kind of options they have available. So you can see some of the options available. Uh, I think uh, I think this guy right over here will be quite an interesting one to choose. So we go next. And now we have a whole lot of options where we can really just stylize our avatar, going really specific into face shape, eye color, all kinds of things that we might need for our 3D animation. Now, I'm not crazy about what he's wearing over here. So what I'm going to decide to do is give him something far more interesting to wear. And as you can see, there's a ton of choices that you can choose from preset choices. Uh, not bad, not bad. But what else do we have available? Oh, there we go. That's the one. That's the one. This is the perfect outfit to be doing gymnastic -y capoeira type stuff in. So there we go. You can also zoom in. You can rotate your avatar to see exactly how it looks. Brilliant. And uh, now that I've made my decision, I'm going to uh, save it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue without the setup and I'm going to name my avatar. And now that I've named my avatar and I have my avatar available, I'm going to go to create animation. And the next thing I need to do is browse my files so that I can add a video clip into it. I'm going to rename it, wait for it to load. And here are a couple of very, very important settings that you need to pick for your video. Physical filters, hand tracking, and then video settings are very important. We need to enable MP4 and then very, very important. We need to select a solid background. I'm going to take out the shadow, everything else I'm happy with. And then I'm going to go and 
check all my settings. I'm happy with all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and create. It's gonna tell me how many credits I have available. So 17 out of 48 on my free account. It's gonna tell me everything else that I've agreed to. And I'm gonna make sure that MP4 is enabled. And then I'm going to initialize the final rendering. And there we go. Ooh, look at that. By the touch of our mouse, we can also speed it up if we're not happy with the exact speed there. But all in all, wow, that is not bad at all for that range of movement. It's not very smooth, but hey, not bad at all. With a paid for account, you have access to a lot more features in Deep Motion. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I think this is pretty good. So now that we're happy with this, we're going to go ahead and download. Make sure that you download the MP4 version. Okay. Now that we've downloaded it, you're going to head over to DaVinci Resolve Download. That's going to bring you to the DaVinci Resolve 18 page. And what we want to do is just scroll down and we're looking for the free download. Now, very important, you're going to pick the DaVinci Resolve 18.5 download that's relevant to your software needs. Not the studio, but the simple 18.5 Resolve. Once you've downloaded and installed DaVinci Resolve, you're going to open it up. And the first thing you're going to do is head over to the top left. And in your files section, you're going to import your media. You're going to pick the exact files that you need. We're going to pick the files that we just finished rendering. So our stage, as well as our animation. we're going to add these to our timeline starting off with the stage we're going to add the stage to the video portion of our timeline after we've done that we're going to grab our green screen rendering of our 3d animation and we're going to put it just above it now you'll notice that it's a little bit longer the stage needs to be a bit longer, so I'm going to duplicate it and cut where necessary so that we have enough stage for our tuxedo dancing red-headed caprista. Excellent. So now that we have that in place, what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we crop it to begin with. We want to remove that deep motion logo in the corner we don't want to make sure we want to make sure we haven't cut him off at all so once we've done that and we're happy with it we are then going to head over to our open effects make sure that we've you've added that 3d key layer once we've done that we're going to go to open effects and we're going to draw right around our character from head to toe. Excellent. Once we've done that, you'll notice there's a little bit of green that's still sitting around him. So what we're going to do is we're going to despill it. We're going to change the despilling all the way, drag it over to as much as we can. You'll notice that around his body now looks a lot better. Now that, uh, now that we've got a great image, we're just gonna polish it up by placing him in the right place. So we're gonna head over to our drop-down menu and we're gonna go transform and we're going to drop him down a little, maybe make him a bit smaller so that he fits into the frame nicely. Don't worry about the speed here, the rendered file will look great. So now we're going to head over to the bottom menu and that you'll notice a little rocket ship here in DaVinci Resolve. What we're going to do next is we are going to click on that rocket ship. And this is where we render the file. So we're going to name it what we want to name it. And then we're gonna add it to the render queue once we've 
added it to the render queue and we've chosen exactly where we want it to land up. We're going to render the entire piece. And there you have it. Wow, look at that movement in those pants. I can't believe he hasn't split them yet. If you've enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe for more.